So, afternoon everyone, what have we got here? Is it Mummy's birthday present? No. No. <laughs> I love you, I love you, yes. Is it not your birthday yes. present, Mummy? Have well, you had a lovely birthday? I have, I have. We've had, we've had lots of fun, haven't we? So, what have we got then, guys? Awesome. Mummy, let's open. Careful, no, guys, it's, it's a sharp really knife, sharp. isn't it? It's really sharp. I've got two jealous dogs, that's what I have got. <laughs> James, that James. Things that way, please. Mm, exciting. Could you just carry it? Do you want me to tell you what is that? Wait, wait there. It's made in China. China's a big China. Oh, so guys. Oh, we know this name, don't we? Yes, it's no. Altenic again. And they Lego. have Lego. sent us the S10 Elite robotic vacuum cleaner to try out. So what do we say to Altenic first off? We're gonna have a Thank you. Thank you very much. Out. Thank you very much, Altenic. So... So we'll have a little look what's inside and then this will be our next review guys. Bye. You'll probably see this next Monday. Woo! So this is what we've got. The Altenic S10 Ultra Robotic Vacuum. Does it look good? Looks yeah. very futuristic doesn't it? It does doesn't it? Guys we're going to have cool. a modern house. But it doesn't look... Um... Massive or no, OTT. It looks like, uh, what's the word? Like it's not crazy futuristic. No. Do you know what I mean? It'll fit in to a household. <laughs> hey, yes, yes, Polly. Mom is here. So here it is, and it's beauty. Just opened the box. So straight away, a nice, quick fire, quick start guide. Nice and big. Quite nice easy to read, isn't it? It is. Nice, yeah, it doesn't it? look. Uh, too challenging and it's like exactly the same as the P30 uh, combo that we had. Uh-huh. So we'll oh, watch... it comes with a sleep mask. <laughs> we'll watch Mummy take it out now. Oh, God. I'm never normally allowed to do things like this. If we get anything new, Ben's like a massive child and he has to play. So actually, there's not too much in there, is there? It's quite a uh, quite small amount of equipment in there. Mm -hmm. And then Tracy's going to unwrap everything. Ta-da! There we go. Smart looking, isn't it? It is very nifty looking little thing. It's quite heavy as well, is it? Oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. So as the P30 came with, a uh, warranty card with a uh, possibility of extending it an extra six months. The user manual does look rather thick, but it is in several languages. So I think there's only about three or four pages of the English that we'll be using. Yeah, so the robot vacuum itself. The charging station, <laughs> which uh, it docks to. And also with this equipment, it sucks out the uh, debris and that from there goes into there and then goes into that bag so yeah it cleans itself and it refills up that bag inside the charging dock so you've got the mop attachments there you've now got the side brushes and i believe there's a spare one there we'll have a look you have a remote control batteries a filter a cleaning tool Oh, no, that should be me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that. So, guys, that's all the components. Um, we're going to have a look at attaching one of these to the base of the uh, robotic vacuum, and then we'll turn her on and see what she does. We haven't worked out where we're going to have her yet, have we? No, maybe over in the corner. We've got a little corner where we have a lamp. Yeah. So maybe pop it behind there. So we'll have a little play. It's quite nice that it's not an eyesore. No, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, not a bold, too. Ugly thing, is it? No, it's going to blend easier. in quite nicely, I think. Yeah. So, shall we flip her over? Okay. What are we going to call calling... her? I don't know. What you do you keep think? Keep saying her, don't you? So yeah. I feel she needs a name. Already got a Niger on it. Look. 
So underneath you can see as various sensors. We have the filter element there as well. And then we have the rotating roller there that will obviously suck up the uh, debris. And over here you can see there's a little square drive there. It's where you'll stick one of them on. So if you'd like to stick one of them on. And obviously then you do have the spare. And you will be able to buy all these components off Altenic if they uh, do get damaged or worn out over time. And again, that will just rotate and aid in grabbing any debris I'm and then chucking it into their actual uh, uh, suction part. Also, as we said, it is a mop as well. So at the back, the little button here, you just click that and pull it out. So in here is where all your debris is going to go, that the vacuum sucks up. A little filter element here, and that is actually a spare filter. So you have two filters, and again, these will be uh, easily cleaned. And you also, as it is a mop, you also have a water point there where you can fill the, the machine up. And uh, it will mop the floors as well, hard floors. Obviously, you don't want it mopping. I can't believe there's stuff in there because we, we turned it on by accident. Yeah. And it was on for like, I don't know. Two seconds. And look at that, actually. Yeah, it was on for two seconds. And I must say, we haven't hoovered. Did we hoover today? Yeah, I hoovered this yes, morning. I've hoovered as well. So, actually, that is quite it's impressive, quite good, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't come like that, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, should we pop her on again, Ben? Because we did just pop, put it on to see if it had any battery. And it did something wonderful. It did, yeah. Should we put Go that on. back in then? So it, it again, just like the uh, pet groomer, everything collect, uh, connects nicely. Uh -huh. The quality. This little top up here is a lidar sensor, so it scans the room, emits a signal, scans the room, and then it'll detect where all the objects are. Also, there is an app that you can download. We haven't got that far yet. We will do, and we will show you. And it does allow you to within the app mark out areas where you don't want it to go so you can actually give it dead zones so it won't go to certain areas so <laughs> let's turn it on then right so there is power button and, and a home a button that's a home button so when you click that if the docking station's on it will go back to home okay oh what itself yeah <laughs> so get your finger on there then and here we go so if you just come on to a robot vacuum cleaner. God, isn't that futuristic? It's, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I absolutely love that. <laughs> it's great. Should I, should I just press the on button and see what it does? Um, no. Let's oh. find the docking station for it. Let's find where we're going to put the dock. Okay. So, if you just take the top off. Ah, so it has got a bag already attached oh, in wow. there. So that is a spare bag. Oh, and fine. that simply... <laughs> Use that plastic thing, babe. Is that not right? Yeah, pull it then. There you go. How simple is that? Pull it all away. So that will actually close the hole if you move that flap back. Yep, and then there you go. So the... I would imagine these are reusable. Yeah. yeah. And that came like that, didn't it? We didn't yeah. put that in. That's yeah. how it came. And then that just slots in there. So again, everything is so simple with this it company. Is. It's Tracy proof. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I absolutely uh, am really enjoying testing this old Tenix stuff because it is simple you also get a remote control so you can actually sit there while you're watching tv i suppose <laughs> go up back game there back game there back game there but i don't think we're going to use that portion i think we're going to use it as an ai and uh what you're saying artificial what you intelligence yeah, function that, what what the remote control you can actually just use it as a remote control and rather than pushing a hoover around you yeah, can just go. That, what are you we're not going to use the remote. We're not going to use remote control because we're going to set it up, so it's oh, okay. automatic. So it'll come on at certain, and you can obviously set certain times of the day it comes on, which rooms to do, how to do them, etc., etc. We'll, we'll go into more detail um, once we set her up. I'm interested to see what the dogs think. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> obviously batteries for the remote, and you do get a cleaning tool as well, which uh, there is a blade here as well. Yeah, so if you flip her over. 
you can actually remove this portion like so pull out the yeah, yeah. roller and then with this you literally just going up there and it'll cut all the hairs and then you can literally just pull them off that's really good isn't simple it? that's yeah the beauty of it is simple <laughs> i say simple yeah <laughs> And then the guard on it. Oh God, you're putting pressure on me. And there she is. Well done, Autelic. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we have been living with our Autelic. I've just put him out, but I'll put him back in. Autelic S10 Elite. Haven't we, James? Yeah. Do you like him? Yeah. What have we called him? We have called him Gerald, or George named him Gerald the janitor. So I set him up, he comes on at quarter past twelve every day, runs around the house for us, then parks up here, empties himself, and there you go. So what it, with dogs, it does limit, you have to hoover in every day. We normally have to hoover every day because of the dogs and the dog's hair. But with this, obviously we do hoover every day with this, but we don't get the big hoover out. All the time. We generally get it out, I'd say, two, three times a week now rather than every day. So it's definitely helped us guys, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're very impressed. What I will do is I'll show you how the app works. So with the app, guys, then, I've got him set up as Gerald. You select that and it loads up this page. If you haven't used it before, this will be completely blank. Um... So you can see, obviously, we got our room. It doesn't come into room two down here because that's the dining room and we have a uh, child's gate on there to stop the dogs coming in when we're eating sometimes. But you can see the living room, hallway, porch, toilet and kitchen utility. Um, you can also set up... So that's on automatic mode. So as soon as I press start, it'll just go round those rooms and you'll see it as it goes. You can use the mop. Again, you have to attach the mop attachment. Partition, so I can now select the rooms I want it to do. So if I wanted to do all of it, then I wouldn't use partition. I'd use the auto. But if I wanted just to do separate rooms, I would just select. And you can see how they highlight. So deselect that. You've got area. So again, you can select your areas you want. Um, by using the square down there on the left hand side and just adjusting the sizes, moving it. You can also spin it around as well, like so. And then obviously it just set off and it'd go into that area. And spot is exactly the same. Just a designated area, go into there and it would just press start and it would go and clean. Here then... You've got some map displays. You can obviously have it custom mode, partition mode, rotate map. I've got them all selected. This button down here underneath the map then, that will uh, tell the robot to go back to the base unit. And as you can hear, it sucks out of the hoover into the base unit. And then obviously it does say you can have up to 45 days of continuous use without emptying the bag. I would say with dogs, it's a lot more than, uh, it's a lot less than 45 days. We just keep on top of it and you can reuse the bag. So that's that. Down in the bottom right hand corner, then you've got suction powers like so if i were to have the mop attachment you'd be able to select water flow and you can see as soon as i select that it tells me that i have to put the uh, mop attachment on so that you know and then you've got you know then you've got a little map button here you can obviously we can set a no-go zone i've got one in the bottom right hand corner around the tv unit because it used to try and go around the back of that and i don't want to get it entangling cables again you can just press the square button adjust the square move it about wherever you want and the line is also quite good i could literally put a mark across there and it won't go into the utility or i could just cut off a section of the room above that line and that won't go past that line there so that's that so i've as you see in the bottom corner there i have got a no-go zone set up 
to actually uh, so you got your charge in the top left how long it's ran for and the square meterage it's actually done during its its last run uh, you can tell the bottom right then so it's charging at the minute and the start but uh, bottom left it's charging and then the bottom right it's starting so all i'll do click it to auto you can see the actual robot where we've got it positioned and press start comes off charge and we're going to have a look at it now as you can see then with the lidar sensor on the top it's just going around the room it'll go into areas again it's quite a uh, slim so it will go straight under this if it does go under sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it can work its way around and there you go it is absolutely brilliant bit of kit nice out of the way you and uh oh there you go it's just proving me wrong it's gone through and under that now and this will go it will do all the rooms i've asked it to do in automatic mode and then it will park itself back at the uh, charging station as you can see it does a thorough job it doesn't just do one area then move on it will make sure it covers as much of that area as possible you can see the rotating uh, brush just scoops that material into the actual sucking section of the uh, hoover itself there you go so it'll go round the whole of outside of the room first and then go up in a uh, across the way i'll show you in a minute once it's uh, done its bits but the dogs don't mind it either the dogs don't uh bother with it as you can see it's just going past nige now and they say yeah they're absolutely fine with it so you can remember i put that square around this area that i've mapped out around that area there absolutely brilliant do this area now I say it just works itself along absolutely fantastic old Tenic. really good bit of kit and it has helped us out with not having to get the main hoover out all the time so you can see it splits it into little sections itself And away it goes. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. I'll show you now on the app what it maps out like and how it looks. So as I said then you can see now how it actually maps and does actually vacuum the floor. And you can see you can see it watching as it goes. So if you're away from home, this is done automatically. As I say I do it at quarter past twelve every day. And it'll just go up and down and you'll see exactly where it is. If it does get stuck, you can start it again. Nine times out of ten, I've found um, when it does get stuck or a fault comes up, I just press start down here again and it generally sorts it out. If it is an issue that can't be dealt with as you're away, then just put it back to the uh, charging unit and have a look when you get back. But there you go. Absolutely perfect. So, yes, I have been saying it wrong. It's the... T10 Elite what have you been Vacuum, saying? S10, S10 Ultra, P10, well. I've said it all. I tried to pick out all the bits in the video and try and say it in there. Uh, but, Joking. our verdict. Me, it's a winner because every day when I get home from work, I haven't got to Hoover because Gerald's done it. Yes, I did mention it's Gerald. So, in my eyes as well, it is it's an exp oh, relatively expensive bit of kit. If you didn't have dogs, it'd be a no-brainer. We still have to get the big hoover out every now and then mm -hmm. for the dogs, like yeah. I said previously in the video. But honestly, another cracking bit of kit from Altenic. It is. Don't um, you reckon? Yeah, having so many kids clubs as well, genuinely, I know hoovering takes two minutes... But when you get in from work, you pick up the kids, you get them in, get them changed for their club, clubs, take them to the clubs, Ben walks the dogs, get home, then it's dinner, baths, bed. And you've got to try and fit a bit of like general husbandry in there. So but this, this just cuts that time, does, doesn't it? It does, it does and cut it just, the time. just another weight lifted off your shoulders of everyday life. Ooh. Oh, we've always lived it. <laughs> but yes, it's a 10 from Ben. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Have you been thinking about that? No. Did that just, that just popped to my head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, absolute Rufus. It's a 10 from Ben. 
Well, it's tasty. from you. It's, uh, I don't know. No, no, it's really good. And I, I would like to say thank you, Altenic, for yes. giving us the opportunity thank you very to, much. to review this. Because it, it is, you know, it's a luxurious item that you've let us have a play with. And we do, we appreciate it. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, and it's great. Honestly, highly recommended. Highly. In the link in description below our video, be giving you a 20 or £30 voucher. Mm -hmm. Plus, there is a saving uh, already on it at the minute. So, yeah, all the details in the link below. When you go on. Anyway. Hey. <laughs> when you, um, if you click on our link and you put in, in our discount code, there's normally always a voucher on Amazon too. You have to click that. It will say something like 10% voucher. It might not be 10%, that might be a lie. But you have to click that the, as the well. Thanks for watching, guys. I bet that's going to be the thumbnail, guys. Until next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.